Bakery. Happy Easter to you. I am keeping it simple this year with my chocolate peanut butter mini cakes. I mean, you guys, it, yeah, you can't go wrong with chocolate and peanut butter as a cake filling. I am icing them with actually a natural food coloring this year um, made from spirulina. So it gives like a light blue robin's egg color icing. I'm speckling that with a little tiny chocolate coconut nest on top with some little robin's eggs inside and as you can tell I really do just love this little miniature dessert I think they came out so beautiful they are really easy to make but of course the individuals are going to take you a little bit more work so if you wanted to make it into just one whole cake absolutely I always show you um, how to kind of do that on the written blog post so definitely click the link below Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab all the recipes and let Let's check out how to make these. So I've baked my chocolate cake ahead of time and I will link all the recipes that I'm using below this video. Now you guys, this chocolate cake is the easiest recipe to mix and it comes out so good. It seriously doesn't even need any icing. That's how good this cake is all by itself. So I baked the entire recipe into a 12 inch by 18 inch pan, also known as a half sheet pan, because I'm cutting this cake into smaller individual sized cakes and I'm using a three and a half inch cookie cutter to do that. Now I will be getting six individual cakes that are two layers each out of this entire sheet. And of course, those scraps are going right into the freezer for another project like my whiskey cake balls. So don't ever throw away those scraps. You can also grind up cake scraps and dry them out in the oven for a nice garnish for the sides of your cakes, like I did here on my Death to Diets cake. Or just eat them with peanut butter buttercream. No one will ever know. Speaking of peanut butter buttercream, I have made up my recipe for buttercream already and I do have about five recipes for you to choose from on my blog, but I am using the American style recipe here. So for the peanut butter, I'm adding in peanut butter powder. It is almost fat free compared to regular peanut butter out of the jar. So I love that aspect of using the straight up powder, not to mention it does make the buttercream more stable than adding in the peanut butter from a jar. Now I've divided my recipe in half, half of it for the peanut butter filling and the other half gets colored blue. Now I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I'm using spirulina powder for that amazing blue color that is all natural, no chemical dyes for this cake today. I love the color and you can be sure I'm going to be making more recipes with this in the future. All right, so now that I have my filling and icing ready, let's get to building these cakes. Again, as I mentioned earlier, making these smaller individual cakes are definitely going to be a bit more time consuming. If you've ever wondered why individual pastries are more expensive than larger full cakes, it's just the time that goes into making them. It's way easier to make one larger cake, of course. But you decide which way you wanna go with this. I'm actually glad that I made them smaller though because six of my friends got a really nice treat this week instead of just one lucky person and every one of them said the cake was awesome not too sweet was one thing that they all said and the non-vegans in the bunch couldn't believe that it was vegan woohoo a major score all right so you see that I'm just icing the cakes with a very rough crumb coat with the excess peanut butter icing from the filling and then the spirulina icing for the final I've made a mixture of cocoa powder and vodka for the speckle after a light dusting of straight cocoa powder too. The speckling is just with a paintbrush dipped into the cocoa paste mixture and then like, I don't know, just try to flick it on there as best you can. You might want to do this outside because literally this stuff gets all over the kitchen. Now the coconut nests are simply unsweetened flake coconut mixed with melted vegan chocolate in a mini muffin tin lined with plastic wrap and then once they are set they pop right out. The robin's eggs for the nests are Little Secrets candies. They are basically vegan M&Ms only way better. All natural ingredients and they're fair trade too. They are so good so be careful not to eat them all before you get them onto this cake. I did however want to lighten up that color on them though so I dunked them in some water to give them that speckly lighter look. Now just pop the nests onto the cake and you are done. 
I love these little beauties. They turned out so pretty, you guys, and just perfect for Easter or a spring fling party this year. Is anybody having spring fling parties? Hmm. <laughs> Moist chocolate cake, peanut butter buttercream, and the spirulina icing is my new obsession. I really hope you will try these recipes, so head on over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab them. And while you're there, be sure to check out all my other amazing desserts, too. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.